All right, Tanya. So we have our containers out here. You did this for us last year. We're going to have you back again to do it for us now. Thank you so much right. for having me back no here problem. to no uh, make some pretty flowers for your for your garden. Okay. All right. So um, the thing to know about container gardening is it's been around for literally thousands of years. People have been putting plants in, in pots uh, forever. Okay. And you can put just about anything in a pot and grow it. Think about bonsais, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but vegetables, herbs, flowers, and today we're going to plant some flowers for you. All right. Now, when you choose your container, of course, you already have this nice uh, barrel here for us. It's kind of a rustic feel to go in your vegetable garden, but if you're um, choosing a container for your house, you might want to think about, you know, the style of your house. Uh, do you want something formal or something uh, kind of rustic? Um, how large is your space? Okay. Does the container need to be on caster so you can move it? Mm. Or uh, are you going to put it someplace and leave it? Wow. So, um, a lot of things to consider. There. Yeah, yeah. Now, after you pick your con container, and I always like to choose one that has uh, drainage holes in the sure. bottom. Um, it's not absolutely necessary if your container is large enough, but I like to have drainage holes. Um, you want to fill it up with some kind of soil. Now, if you have a very large one, you do have the option of filling the bottom with fillers. Okay. Um, you don't have to use the really best potting soil through the whole thing, but you want to make sure the top 6 to 12 inches, depending on what you're planting, has the good stuff in it. Okay. So any kind of good bagged potting soil will work. Okay. Um, so we already have ours filled with soil and it. ready soil. to go. The next thing you want to do is choose your plants. Well, there's lots of things to, to consider there too. <laughs> you know, is your, is your container going to be in full sun? Is it going to be in shade? Is it going to be part, part shade? Um, part of the day sun, part of the day shade. So you have to think about um, the conditions that your plants are going to be in and then choose all plants that can tolerate the sun or the shade. Sure. You may even want to think about uh, watering if you have things in there that are low water and things that are, you know, heavy drinkers, then that might not be a good combination. Right. So, okay. Um, I like to plant um, colors depending on the container too. So for a barrel, I'm thinking rustic. So oranges, reds, purples, <laughs> greens, um, your primary colors are good for a rustic look. If you've got a formal looking container and it's gonna grow in front of your nice fancy little porch, then <laughs> um, greens and whites make a nice okay. elegant look. Anything like white and dark purple, um, white usually is kind of a classic look. And if you're kind of going for the country cottage, pastels <laughs> are good for that. So right. think about the look that you, and the feel that you want for your container. Um, okay, so now that we've got our plants chosen, we've got um, mostly uh, sun plants here. And uh, the next thing we want to do is think, in a, think about uh, different heights. Okay. So to make a really nice presentation, it's just like you're going to do a flower arrangement in the vase. You want something kind of tall, you want something um, to be kind of a filler, and then you want something to spill over the edge to break up the hard edge of the container. Uh, and we call that thriller, filler, and spiller. Spiller. So, <laughs> for our thriller, which doesn't look very thrilling <laughs> right this minute, thrilled, huh? but it will be eventually, we have got a canna tuber. So, this is um, the little top part of the package that it came from. Okay. And we're going to plant this in the center to be our, our tall thriller kind of a plant. Okay. We'll see here and watch you do that. Our trowel here. All right. And uh, you can see that this has signs of life, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it's trying yeah. to poke out already. Okay. And because it's like that, I'm not going to plant it really deep. Okay. So we don't have to do anything else with that, so plant it. It doesn't have to be that's pretty much it. or anything. Okay. Nope. That's pretty much it. And then it's right. going to go in the center. And then around, I'm going to choose. Um, some marigolds. Marigolds. My dad loves marigolds. Yeah. Those are good. Gives it a nice kind of garden feel, you know. Take these little plastic things out, y'all. Okay. Don't leave those in there. And again, uh, we don't have to tease the roots or anything. We just plant them right in there. Well, soil. these these are pretty loose, okay. so not too much to worry about there. Now, if it was very, very, you know, just nothing but a white mass of roots and like they're growing out the bottom of the plastic container, then yeah, you want to do something okay. extra, but probably not necessary okay. with that. So there's our marigolds, mm -hmm. and we've got some nice verbena here. Now, when you're at the store choosing your plants, keep an open mind. So <laughs> don't have in your head, okay, I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy this, this, and this, because they may not have what you need. Okay. Exactly. So keep an open mind about um, what things could you could substitute with if they don't have the exact plant that you had your heart set on. It's a pretty good sized root ball there. It is. You want to check for nice white roots right. when you're at the 
at the store choosing your plants and this one has a nice root system i'm going to put this one kind of in the front mm -hmm. and you know i'm kind of planting these all the way around if your container is going against a wall you can kind of do your tall thing right in the back and everything up in the front everything yeah. else but this we're going to see from all sides now, do you do this with your containers at home Mostly. Yes, mostly. <laughs> it depends on mostly. what I'm growing in it. Okay. I grow a lot of herbs at my house, so I don't really do this little formula oh. with those. <laughs> I have um, one pot that I really like of my herbs. I grow uh, lavender, okay. and I grow it in a purple pot. Oh. So when it blooms, it has the nice purple flowers, <laughs> and then in that nice purple pot, I really like the look of that. So I usually will do a smaller container than this okay. and grow all of one thing, but then different sizes of containers. Right, so you. I'll have like, instead of doing the height in one container, I've got three containers of different heights that okay. I'm planting all one thing in each one. Does that make sense? It makes sense, it does. So it's kind of a three piece arrangement instead of an all in one look. Gotcha, okay. All right, so now I'm going to start adding in uh, my things that are going to spill over the edge. You just spillers. Yes. These are our spillers, and they break up the hard edge of the container. Yeah. And this is our wave petunias. Nice now, do roots. we need to pinch? If we have something like that on our yeah. plants, we go ahead and pinch that off. I mean, that's not going to get any better. So, okay. yeah, we take care of that. Just pinch it. Mm -hmm. wow. Now, during the season, uh, during the growing season, you have to keep in mind your containers are probably going to dry out a little bit quicker mm -hmm. than the stuff planted directly into the ground. So, you want to check on the watering probably every day. Uh, go out and check your containers and see if they need any watering. Okay. It's also good to have containers for uh, water management. Uh, can usually take less water than if you did a huge bed full of annuals, but you get just as much of an impact with your container when it becomes full in the summer. Um, also, you want to scout for insect and disease yeah, problems sure. during the uh, season. And I'm going to scoot this marigold over a smidgen. Okay. Um, to make room. Yeah, I would also uh, tell folks to check those pots to make sure they don't have any weeds growing. Oh around. yeah, that's a good point, Chris. Yeah. And I'm gonna break this up because it's kind of big, this root ball. And it will not hurt it to, you know, get in there and really mess around with it. It will grow back, all those roots will. So that's kind of how we do our containers. Um, also, you may want to have to, you may want to deadhead your mm -hmm. spent blooms during the year, during the season. And it may not look like much when you first get it planted, <laughs> but with a little bit of sun and water, it won't be long before it's nice and full for you. Right, and this is full sun, so it's definitely going to get that. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Tony, we definitely appreciate that demonstration. Thank you. Thank you. We can't wait to see what it looks like later on. Uh, me too, season. me too. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.